I hope that people feel some sort of empathy, whether that activates them to action or that just makes them a little bit more empathetic to their neighbor. Um, but that, that was sort of like a big epiphany in my journey. Hi, how are you guys? Hello, Tatiana. How are you doing today? Hi. I am doing fabulously. Um, I loved, uh, One True Loves, as I love all Taylor Jenkins Reid stories. Uh, Philippa, uh, first for you, how does one decide between two such men as Simu and, Le and Luke? How did you approach Emma's love for each man? My approach was really simple, which is just to, to be open to the people that were in front of me, these two fabulous actors who were playing these incredibly different and full and rich characters and just being open and available to, you know, what was there in the script. I think that the way it's set up is a really fun actor challenge, which is your character has to make an impossible decision. Um, What's better than that? Uh, and I think, you know, getting to see the the gray area and the nuance of what that means um, was really where I wanted to dig into this story. And since it's mostly told from Emma's point of view, we don't necessarily see what Jesse and Sam's interactions would be like or what they really think of each other on a one-on-one -on -one level. Uh, Luke, did you and Simu discuss uh, how they might view each other? I don't think... Simu and I discussed it in that way. I think it was just a part of the process of of the story. Um, I think they're both really honorable and noble characters, Sam and Jesse, right? So I think there's an understanding for both of them that they love they love Emma both, right? They both love Emma. I think they're the kind of guys that just want her to be happy and for her, to, to, to be fulfilled and to, to, to have what she wants in life. I think that's the hard choice for Emma is they're two really good guys. And, um, yeah, I think either of them would uh, maybe uh, maybe they'd wish that they could be tough and adversarial, but I think <laughs> in Jesse and Sam's heart of hearts, that's not the kind of guys they are. They would have They would have looked at each other and kind of shook hands and gone, well, if it's not me, I'm glad it's you kind of thing. <laughs> One thing I do love about the story is that it really does focus on what Emma wants in her life, not necessarily which man, but what, you know, the difference between what she wanted for herself in her youth versus now later on in her adulthood, uh, which made me wonder, have you ever had a big change in your desires? Philippa, did you always want to be on the stage <laughs> in something like Hamilton or had there been different stages in your life as well? I knew that I loved telling stories. Um Growing up, I, I I guess my first exposure to performance and storytelling was um, music. I took piano lessons. I took dance lessons. And then eventually that sort of translated into doing theater in my school plays. And I, I knew that I always wanted to do it because I just loved it. But I think something that transformed for me as I grew older and had more experiences and met other people who were also doing this um, for their jobs and, and for their professions is that um, there was a level of community engagement and um, activism that I was interested in, um, activism through your work. Um, you know, when I, I went to drama school, there was a saying that was always going around, which is artist as citizen. And what does that mean? Um, so I think, yeah, that's that's this, where the sort of shift happened from this sort of childhood version of like, wow, I really love this. I really want to do it. It makes me happy. And then also, where does that fit in the place of this world and how can I make that impactful? And ultimately, um, you know, the, the through line is, is that I, I hope that people feel some sort of empathy, whether that activates them to action or that just makes them a little bit more empathetic to their neighbor. Um, but that that was sort of like a big epiphany in my journey. Luke, I have loved you in uh, several kind of like rom-coms or romances recently. I also saw you in Maybe I Do, which was so much fun. What kind of draws you to that genre? The more, um, whether it's lighthearted or whether it is intense, like One True Love's stories about human relationships. Yeah, I've been fortunate to make a couple of movies in this kind of world. Or, but the one thing I've really been fortunate about and one thing that I've chosen these films is they're all a little bit different to what you'd expect in this type of movie. Got to do a movie called Holiday, which is, uh, you know, subverts kind of 
the rom-com in in its own way maybe i do is completely different as well and then this has kind of a real um uh, real consequence to it right but also having that fun and that life and that laughter so i've been fortunate that yeah the ones i've done have all had a little different twist on 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 the on the genre and on the world that that these movies exist in so yeah i i think i'm you know it's going to be hard to like find one another one that's got like uh as much of a twist maybe i'll maybe i'll have a break from them <laughs> Well, I'll look for you in the action thriller next. Hey, then. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. It was so much fun.